Alola everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Philly B2 and welcome back to another Z Move Showcase video. A kind of a series where we look at a bunch of different Z Moves in Pokemon Sun and Moon and see if they're good in competitive battle, if they make absolutely no sense for the reason they're made in the game, I don't know, or if they're just really fun to use and give like these really random cool effects. You know, we just take a look at all these cool stuff. Anyway, the video that we're going to be doing today is about Z Sleep Talk and it is brought to you by our buddy the Pokemon Nerd 12 who says use rest and then use Z Sleep Talk. Luckily for this video, we're going to be using the Pokemon Komala as our test subject and it doesn't have to rest in order to use Z Sleep Talk because it is forever sleeping. So Z Sleep Talk is an automatic thing with Komala. Of course, you're going to need the Normalian Z Crystal to work with Sleep Talk because Sleep Talk is a normal move but let's go ahead and see together what exactly happens and the fun that we can have out of it when we use it so here we go we're in the game and just to give you guys uh, uh some insight into what our kumala is rocking we do have sleep talk which is going to work with the normalian z it knows shadow claw it knows wood hammer and it knows acrobatics as other different moves so that's something just to to keep in mind here we are on the snowy mountain. So let's get in the grass and let's go, let's go find some Pokemons and see exactly what our sleep talk will do with the Z crystal with it. <coughs> a chew. Wow, sneeze when I saw a Vulpix. So there we go. We got a Vulpix showing up. We got a Komala, and since we're in comatose, we are drowsing, which means we automatically have access to the sleep talk. So we have our sleep talk there, and we're just gonna hit our Z power, and then we're gonna hit sleep. Sleep, Z, Z sleep talk. So here we go. Gonna do a little, little cool Z move. Do it. Oh yeah. Here we go. Kamala is powering up. So notice it says it boosted its critical hit ratio. So its critical hit goes up. So it's going to be using acrobatics. And check it out. look how cool that is, dude. Acrobatics has switched into supersonic sky strike. Dude, the sleeping, <laughs> sleeping Kamala is now flying down full force. Oh, this is ridiculous. Rip Vulpix. And, and it landed a crit. Dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. We got a crit. Oh my gosh. So we got a crit boost on top of that. And then we landed a crit hit after the Z move. So that, that was a lot of damage. So that's pretty interesting. So we'll go again. And hopefully we'll get something else besides the Sky Steel Strike. Oh, we got an Absol showing up here. Go to Kamala. Let's 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 hope we get something else here. So we're going into our deep sleep and we're going to fight again and we're going to hit our Z power and go right into Z Z Z Z sleep talk. There we go. I'm going to do our little thing. Uh, mm, 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 mm. We're going to go power up and getting that crit actually getting critical hit ratio boosted up is really can be really useful. So now it's going to be picking the hammer move. The grass move obviously and it's going to be switching into bloom doom there we go gets hit with an amazing oh my gosh that is that is so cool did it land a crit no it did not land a crit but that was really awesome to see the fact that we boosted up our critical hit ratio and then land the move all right guys so we're going to take a look at exactly what sleep talk says from the cerebi website so it says while it is asleep the user randomly uses one of the moves it knows so while we are in sleep talk in the case of z sleep talk uh, we were able to select one of the three moves. We had a wood hammer, which was a grass type. We had an acrobatics, which was a flying type. And we had a shadow claw, which was a ghost type. Now, usually if you just use sleep talk on its own, it's going to perform those moves normally. But since we did have a Z crystal with it and we use Z sleep talk, all those moves actually turned into the actual Z moves in general. Like the, the, the specific ghost one, we had the bloom doom for the grass one, and we had the flying one where Kamala was just coming out the sky. So it was really cool that they turned into actual Z moves, you know, on top of getting the crit hit ratio increased by one stage that was really cool because we were able to see the crit hit on to vulpix earlier with kumala so that was really nice but anyway in terms of having sleep talk on a pokemon i highly suggest kumala is the best option because most of these other mons are not in a permanent sleep like kumala you're gonna have to use rest and then go into sleep talk but with kumala luckily you can just right away go into sleep talk which is really cool now we're gonna get into talking about sleep talk and the benefits of it when it comes to crit hit i think crit hit ratio is actually really important when it comes to pokemon and of course this list goes really long a lot of pokemon can learn sleep talk anyway so let's go into critical hit ratio and talk about it because sleep talk boosted up by one and as you can see here 
the chances of critical hit are done in stages. Now, there's five stages in this chart, as you can see. Uh, all moves are on stage one, apart from a handful on stage two. However, with various items, abilities, and a combination thereof, you can reach stage five and have a 50-50 chance of hitting with a critical hit. So, this is interesting. So, when we did use Sleep Talk with the Z Crystal, we did get a boost by one stage. Now, we also had the move Shadow Claw on Kamala. So if we use Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw also is a move that increases your critical hit. So the higher we get our critical hit stages, the more chances we have of landing that amazing critical hit, which does enough damage to sometimes KO a Mon that, you know, has a little bulky health pool as well. And the interesting thing is, critical hits, when you land them, do 50% more damage from the standard damage. So that's a little interesting thing to note as well. Now, when it comes to increasing um, critical hit ratio, you have a bunch of attacks that actually do that. Now, a 10,000 volt Thunderbolt happens on a special Pikachu, which is not out yet, but that's also something interesting to know. And we have a lot of moves over here that do increase your critical hit ratio. And Shadow Claw, like we have in Kamala, was definitely one of them that we threw on there. So you can maybe try to build a Mon that has moves that build up crit so you can land them. That's up to you in terms of strategy and how you want to build it, which is pretty interesting because in competitive, when you land a crit move, that is a critical hit is is a big deal man and that's able to use the ko pokemon and everyone gets excited about that we also have some items that also are able to increase the critical hit ratio we have focus energy that does the same and we have some two two items actually for farfetch'd and and chancy which is interesting that increases the critical hit ratio and some other moves that do it as well but that is that is really interesting and kamala is a very cool pokemon in general for the fact that it always is asleep and that z z um sleep talk is it's phenomenal it's really cool and i hope you guys are actually able to try it out go ahead let me know um down in the comments below was this successful you're gonna have fun trolling your friends with it also guys make sure make sure to comment down below what z move you want to see in the next video uh that's really important if you want to see your comment on the screen and it's really fun to do these z moves and of course again don't forget in order to use Sleep Talk, you usually have to have the Pokemon go into sleep by resting ahead of time. So if you want to get quickly into Z Sleep Talk, Kumala is the man. Normalian Crystal, no problem. Should be lots of fun, guys. If you joined the video, please, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.